Hello. First, I don't want to forget, I want you to uh, take a note of this uh, website address 19.org 2005 basically slash forward 2005 slash forward Fatullah hyphen Gulen um, and uh, please uh, feel free to publish this one at your blog or website keep a record of it because this may disappear this is an exposition of world's current most dangerous cult leader and cult and uh, if you follow the recent event in Turkey it is basically because of this guy there are powerful forces supporting this guy and it is a very dangerous guy and it will not serve the United States either you remember United States uh, supported Mujahideen against Russians in fact uh, CIA trained Bin Laden and it was called blowback United States supported Saddam Hussein against Iran this time gave him all the weapons and all the political and military support Rumsfeld was shaking hands with Saddam Hussein and then Saddam Hussein is danger for the world and then killed about a million Iraqis there uh, <laughs> bankrupting American budget and killing so many people and creating so many more enemies against United States therefore if you are an American citizen you should be worried about what is your government doing right now supporting a very backward dangerous cult leader who is now in coalition with Tayyip Erdogan both of uh, Tayyip Erdogan was my former friend from high school and also from the party political Islamist party both of us work in the same region and uh, Fethullah Gülen, I know him personally, he knew my father, he respected my father. I will share some of the information about that. In fact, I wrote when I was Islamist author, I wrote a couple of articles in his magazine. That time he was a smaller cult, didn't have worldwide impact. But now his network all around the world, and even in the United States, he's given so much support that uh, more than about 130 schools middle and high schools in the United States, about 160 organizations in the United States, he makes millions of dollars and uh, his uh, basically <clears throat> wealth that he controls is in billions, several billions dollars of wealth. But more than that, he has robots, people who are committed, absolutely brainwashed, they consider him is in the level of profit. He's making up stories that Prophet Muhammad comes visit him daily like a friend and supports him. It's incredible. He's an evangelist. You will see, like Christian evangelist, charlatan who cries and make money from getting money from people. I'm not saying this guy is into money, but he is hungry, incredible, megalomaniac and wants to control. That's all things. And every mean is justified his end he supported military regimes in turkey against democratic parties he, and then whichever government got power he was for them <laughs> now he's in the united states he never stood for the poor he never stood for the impoverished he never stood for the weak in fact when israel attacked and killed I think it was nine, several years ago, in Marmara, Flotilla Marmara, human rights activists in International Sea, Israeli soldiers went, just they killed them. And this was outrageous things. Any human being, whether you are a Jew or Christian or any atheist, you see there is injustice done. They didn't have weapons, nothing. And they, they were massacred, basically. And these guys supported Israel. Well, you should have because... He's right now getting support from Zionist regime and from the United States Incorporated or the behind the scene, whoever governing the United States. Now, um, I want to, in sum, to give some little headlight information about this guy. He's a megalomaniac, delusional Sunni evangelist. One, a Machiavellian politician who never debated in public. He's from his nose to his feet, to his finger, everything is in politics, in Turkish politics, not only in Turkey, is in also in um, former Soviet uh, 
satellite country like Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, those countries. In some of these countries, his cult was kicked out when they found out they are involved in uh, <clears throat> spying and other things. They kicked them out. A Machiavellian politician who never debated in public. Incredible, powerful guy. He's right now, he's in power in Turkey, but never in public debated with anyone. If there are interviews, you see people come with their hands like this. You great religious holiness, can you please shower us with some wisdom, share some wisdom. This kind of people go interview him. He, he's allied with Pope, yet promote hatred against Shiites because in his mind, he's going to resurrect Ottoman Empire. That's keep in mind. He is fond of Ottoman pharaohs, the sultans who killed their brothers, children, babies, when they were in cribs, and uh, <clears throat> he uh, were uh, basically murders, massacres. They killed thousands of people, paranoid and psychopaths. For example, Yavuz Sultan Selim killed his father, his older brother Korkut, and then his younger brother, and then he attacked Syria, Jordan, killed, massacred many people, Saudi Arabia, all the way. They didn't attack him. He went to Egypt, supposedly get Khilafat, the religious leadership too. His Sultan, because of his pa parents, <laughs> It's not Quranic. Quran says their affairs, Muslims' affairs, is based on consultation. Leadership is should be elected. Muhammad was elected naturally, and then the presidents, four presidents after him, they were all elected. But later, Umayyads, they distorted. In fact, they brought back all uh, the days, uh, culture and beliefs of days of ignorance through hadith and other stuff. They changed, distorted the whole message of Quran, liberating, progressive, and they distorted even the meaning of many verses of the Quran. And uh, he got Khilafah by power. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> and uh, he's fond of these uh, sultans, means Turkish pharaohs. He's a Nurju, always promoted capitalism. Nurju is a sect. Sect, in fact, they are subsect of Sunnism, but contradiction, many, many contradiction with even Sunni, four Sunni sects. According to those sects, they are not Muslims. So many claims. Uh, um, Said Nursi was from my hometown, Bitlis. I am from Bitlis. In fact, he studied at my grandparents' uh, town, Norshin. He was a student there. And uh, my father was, uh, basically he followed Said Nursi, this Fatullah Gülen, don't get confused, his follower Said Nursi, who is the founder of Nurju cult. And uh, Said Nursi, my father was student of Said Nursi, in fact uh, met him, published his Arabic book, Qazil uh, Ijaz, Ijaz, and wrote commentary to that. He was always respected by Said Nursi's students, and uh, including this guy too. But Said Nursi is a mixture guy. He's not only very smart and not only very <laughs> stupid and dogmatic. His books filled with contradictions. And this guy who talks about peace, love, and stuff, at, at, at the other hand, on the other page says, any person who leaves the Islam, that person is evil, should be killed in Shualar, his book Shualar. You need to look at two of his book. Uh, Rumuzati Stemaniye means the eight symbols. Eight symbols. Very kind of esoteric. And the other Shualar. In that Shualar, I, uh, in my website, I give reference to it. He says, any person who leaves Islam should be killed. It doesn't deserve to live a second. And he follows this guy like a prophet. They memorized his words. And uh, um, again, his communism, he supported capitalism. I am neither capitalist nor neither communist. I am for social democracy. Capitalism is one of the worst systems like uh, communism, socialism, that is against nature and uh, against humanity, basically, through 
the pollution and consumption and also ignoring the poor and uh, many uh, problems with it. I have uh, many articles on this issue at 19.org, you can look at it. Uh, and in the future, cap uh, capitalism will be considered one of the worst practices because destroyed uh, the world, polluted everything. And uh, anyway, and can easily lead millions towards upon the signal of his handlers in the USA, this guy. In, uh, now, um, let me, okay, you got this website address, please uh, feel free to publish it, to share it. It's very important to expose this guy. I want to sh show him some, here it is. You see how he is crying. His last name is Julian, very interesting. Julian. The emperor is naked. And it is shame that in the Western world there are colleges, universities who are bribed by this cult because they give millions of dollars donations, secret or over donations to these uh, institutions. And they are also supported by CIA because uh, he, sponsored, he was sponsored by CIA analysts and uh, also American ambassador in Turkey. Their names are there. Uh, when he came to Pennsylvania, he escaped. In Turkey, there were military, unfortunately, they were very oppressive of Muslims. They even banned hair, hair scarf, created polarization and extremism. This is one side. But he initially he support military, but military find out he's playing games. He's using taqiyya. Taqiyya means acting the way that really he is not. He's behind the scene guy. There are certain videos he secretly capture that he talks a different language to his close followers, and he blinks his eyes, keep it secret. Means you can do. He says you can bribe uh, the judges and this. You can do anything. He is perfect Machiavellian. Machiavelli could get lessons from this, this guy because he, in practice he was able to also fulfill all the rules of Machiavellianism. Saint Paul, but Saint Paul in his life was not as successful as this guy. You know, Saint Paul says, I become everything to gain everyone. He has money against the teaching of Jesus. He was the one who started creating the basis for Trinity. And he was the one who condemned women, put them down. You will not be speaking. This guy didn't get married. He's very committed. I'm not saying he's, he's very, but he's delusional. He's megalomaniac delusional. St. Paul who said to slave, you need to respect your master. This is exactly the same guy. So much similarities in this article, you will see. Now, let's listen to this. He's crying in front of very impressive <laughs> exploiting. He's a great actor, absolute actor. <laughs> Now, he is exploiting the Quran. In fact, he is the enemy of Quran because as a response to one of my, several of my videos, he recently, about two months ago or three months ago, he issued a video speech. He called us perverts or those heretics who follow the Quran. Qurancı sapıklar. Qurancı sapıklar. Those who follow the Quran, they are sapık, they are diverted. He's anus because uh, he, is, he thinks that the Quran is not enough. They need volumes of fabricated hadith, centuries after the Quran. And not only that, sectarian jurisprudence, not only that, Said Nursi's writing and his writings <laughs> needed. The Quran needs them. God could not explain in the book, which is described in the same book as Mufassal, detailed, Tamam, Mubin as clear ignoring all these verses basically anyway he says the Quran is orphan people are emotional getting emotional he's a great actor 
he's a poet, he wrote poetry, he's writing, literary is great, but take the literature out, nothing, empty, empty, not a single contribution to academic to research. Those universities will give him honorary doctor, great intellectual. I challenge those liars, those tailors, who are praising these guys' clothes. Show me one single achievement, contribution to the intellectual advancement of Muslims. Not a single. He regurgitates, regurgitates, repeats exactly the same old thing. But only things... He packages with good thing. He hides. That's all the thing does. He does hiding and acting. Here it is. Let's watch this. But how stupid things he will say. He will say Quran is orphan, and then he says Quran's father died. <laughs> Unbelievable. Quran has a father and he died. Look at the metaphor he's using. He should cry for himself. Not for the Quran. The Quran, if God's, if it is God's word, and God, hello, Quran doesn't need your help. God doesn't need your help, idiot. But exploitation, how emotionally exploits them, all choreographed very well, carefully. The next one will show how he is doing this as an absolute act. Is the timing, the words he says, and. And he, he collected millions of dollars. You see, people do not have money. They give the last penny to him, to his organization. Initially in Turkey, he got millions, millions of dollars. Now he has banks. His cult has many, many big companies. Export, import, schools, universities, TV channels, newspapers. All around the world is a network, great benefit. They bring thousands of Turkish Teachers, some of them cult members, some are not, bring to the United States. Especially, they got, they were granted most the H-1B and E-3 visas. Among all the countries, his cult members, 771, they got just this special visa. They have 162 organizations in the United States, 135 schools in 25 states. There is Islamophobia in the United States. Why they are allowing these cult leaders to grow so much and get money from the United States? Why? What do you think? Remember? He is for America's Middle East. Strategy is instead of tyrants, military leaders, now he is planting this kind of hypocrite stooges who talks nicely, who sell opium to people. Instead of scaring people, opium. But we see how when opium did not work in Turkey, how police, mostly his cult members, I know it because the last four times I went to Turkey, I was arrested. Each time I spent one night in things. And I wrote very good praising the police. In fact, their leaders, their uh, uh, commanders would be always his followers. They would even engage in debates with him. They know me. <laughs> they were very nice. And I wrote in articles in my speeches on video, I said, they are very nice, not like the police in the past, but it's deceptive. Don't trust robots who need only one push. By whom? delusional, megalomaniac, religious leaders. Never trust them. They can sing peace in their churches, in their mosques, but at the same time, they can support the biggest military in the world. Look at evangelist Christians or Mormons. Nice people, talk peace. But they were front lines for invading Iraq and killing more and killing more. More bigger military, United States budget, one fourth goes to the military. It spends, overspends, <laughs> spends more than the rest of the world on military, but they want more. And these are people, what kind of people? Who go to church says, peace, love your enemy. And they were the one also for torture. Torture is okay. And the same church in medieval times, 
while they are saying peace, Prince of Peace for Jesus, they <laughs> they got in, they invented many many torture machines. I have a book about ingenuity of Christian clergymen, but they use their ingenuity to torture people who they considered heretics and whatever uh, blasphemous people. The same mentality, and then police. Recently, when Gezi Park, when people basically came to there, many, many people who are not really political, but they found that the Tayyip Erdogan, as I said, who is the president, uh, prime minister of Turkey, my former friend uh, from Milli Selamet Partisi, and this guy, they are in coalition. This is his religious support, cult members, and his uh, basically machine in Turkey supporting this, uh, Tayyip Erdogan. And police, what did? Showed cruelty. Watch on uh, YouTube. You will be able to just say Gezi Park, G-E-Z-I-P-A-R-K, or Turkish protest. You will see how police is cruel. After they grab the person, protester, how they beat. Five, six, seven of them. How they beat. How they pull woman's hair, woman, on by the seaside with guy but because they don't like the prototype in their mind with head scarf stuff they are so angry they go pull their hair beat them they they were not even protest in protest and show their face and people shocked i'm not shocked i'm not surprised i expect even much worse because this guy a couple of years ago he said everyone says he's so nice he's so compassionate don't be deceived. He is the most cruel guy because he's deceptive. He's a liar. About the Kurdish issue, instead of saying, he never uh, sided with Kurds when their language was banned, were banned, when thousands of them massacred, thousands of towns were burned by military, by the covert police, many, many Kurds were assassinated, Kurd leaders, never he spoke for Kurdish people because they were minority, they were oppressed. He was for the what? Powerful. He doesn't have spine, this guy. And then it was a Turkish created problem because Kurdish language was banned, even in the constitution, 1982 constitution. It has an article there, which I wrote an article about uh, constitutions. It was my article was cannibal democracies. You can find it was published uh, in New York, uh, a university in New York, Yeshiva University, uh, Cordoza Law School. Uh, was it that one? Yeah, uh, that article. You will see uh, <clears throat> the language, Kurdish language, among all other languages. That's the only language which is language of indigenous minority in Turkey, 15-20% of the population, was banned. Many people were put in prison because they sing in their mother language. There was, uh, someone became a minister, a Kurd. As long as they denied their Kurdishness, they didn't say, that was okay. But the moment he said, I am a Kurd, he lost his position as a minister, Sharafet in Elchi, and they put him in prison. More than a year he was in prison just because he said, I'm Kurd. That, is, that created a guerrilla movement against the Turkish. And unfortunately, many people died. Of course, mostly Kurdish people, but they killed them, they called them terrorists. I wrote articles about this. I said, they are not for separation. These people want their culture, not, to, not forced assimilation. They want their culture, their language. That's it, leave alone. Equality with the Turkish people, they, all they want. And initiation is, everything is in the hand of Turkish government. The moment they change their politics, their attitude, this problem will no more be there. 30 years internal, basically, low-level civil war. It will be ended, like in four months, I said. Exactly, it happened. When Tayyip Erdogan finally found the conditions are getting worse, may not be able to handle it in new conditions in the Middle East, Boom, offered peace, and the Kurdish guerrillas, they said, yes, we are for it, let's do it. But I don't know how much will continue because Turkey in the past, they betrayed a previous peace agreement. Now, this guy at that time, instead of offering peace, instead of telling the government, stop racist policies, stop saying everyone is Turk, 
Turkey is only for Turks. There is no curse except their existence and except their culture. Apologize. Instead of saying that, he says, no, go kill them. How many of them? 5,000 killed them. 50,000? No problem. And he was using his hands like this. Perhaps they deleted that one because I had linked to that video. You will be able to find perhaps. But they deleted it and he was showing his hands like this. 50,000 of them. Dude, destroy their homes, burn their homes, you see. And here it is. Let's continue this guy. <laughs> Using the world doesn't know his language. See, they are all brainwashed, cult members. Oh, now he agitated and he says, I will be sacrificing myself for your screams, your cries, they now cry more. Beautiful. Master. Hollywood actors learn from him. I don't know, they put this one in there. Ah, Baba Suyudu Puranen. You see, they deleted this part, says, it censored this part. Baba Suyudu Puranen. It is in audio, they put it there. Baba Sul, the Quran. The Quran's father died. The most stupid thing. The claim. The Quran, the book has father and died? You will become father? <laughs> and here it is another one. This is, uh, shows his. Uh, acting skills. He This is a big mask, thousands of his followers following. Look at his eyes. The way from the side he is looking at, they captured him. And then he's acting as if he's passing out. Chris, I have crisis. Ah. Oh. But watch the timing and what words he will say. It's all calculated. Ah. Oh! Do not worry. I am not as lucky as to die in front of you. You are so great. I don't deserve you. And this guy, who uses this kind of fake expression of modesty, he is a tyrant. All his followers, they call him Hoca Efendi Hazretleri Efendi, means master. It is in fact a title only for God is used in the Quran. Rab means Efendi. Abd means uh, slave. Effendi means master. They call him master. In my article when I wrote 19 questions for Fethullah Güler, uh, it is in Turkish, I didn't translate it yet. In that, that article is a powerful article. This guy never debated with anyone face to face. He's behind the scene all the time. And I challenge him here is in a very good language. Not insult anything, only I called him Fethullah with his first name. I want people to call me with a deep first name. It's not an insult, my first name. If his name is insult, let him change his name. But all they did, all his followers, instead of responding anyone a single question, they didn't respond a single question. All they said, you are disrespectful to him. You, say, you didn't say Hoca Efendi. You said just Fethullah. This is their level. They are so brainwashed. Well, if I keep I praising this guy, in fact, I'm the opposite. I am criticizing how he put himself in such a high position and basically claimed your brains. He ate your brains. He's manipulating you. He's empty guy. He has no clothes. And here it is. See this guy. Recently on Turkish TV, how they are brainwashed. This is a well-known guy. 
Nuh Gönültaş, he's Fethullah, one of his authors who supports him, write in his uh, uh, articles on his favor. In, and then, look, this guy Fatih Tezcan, this guy who is the moderator of this TV program, Bıçak Sırtı, this one is also is uh, Tayyip Erdogan's fan. <laughs> they are fighting because now there is a little bit rift between Fethullah camp and Tayyip Erdogan party. They are genetically different. One is Nurcu cult, the other Milli Selamet party, Erbakan cult. There are certain divisions, different uh, thing, but uh, their interests force them to come together, create a coalition. Now there is a rift. Look at this guy. This moderator refers to Fethullah Gülen as retired preacher. In fact, this is a compliment. Retired preacher? <laughs> Secondly, he is a retired preacher in reality. Exactly, this is his title, retired preacher. He was a preacher, evangelist. And how he gets upset, how he loses his cool manner, which they accuse me of, man, I never use the, I go crazy like this. He goes crazy, all the insult and cuss words against him because he called his idol, the cult leader, as retired preacher. How in the world you disrespect him? And he considered this respect. Our party in the operation, they say, no, do not touch his name. Okay, let's, let's from here. He's talking about Tayyip Erdogan wanted to give Sultan Selim, Yavuz Sultan Selim, a name for the third bridge on Bosphorus. Sultan Selim was, <laughs> gosh, was a psychopath, a mass murderer. He, he, he's the one who killed his father and his older brother and younger brother, even by deception, killed thousands of people, about 90,000 people in Merji Dabak war to become Khalif, religious leader. He killed about 40,000 massacred, 40,000 Alevites. He was a psychopath. And he had dozens of slave girls in his harem. They invade countries, they kill people, brothers, fathers, they get the girl, and the most beautiful girl put in his harem. Sexual pervert. I mean, incredible. And this guy, his name they want to give, uh, Tayyip Erdogan wants to give the 13th. This was one of the reasons people basically uh, protested, many, many reasons. Uh, in one of my talk, I have uh, uh, one of my videos, English videos, I have about Gezi Park. Please watch that one. What's happening in Turkey? Maybe put that happening in Turkey. Edip Yüksel, I have my channel. Check that one. I explain what's going on more detail. And this guy is saying this is happening. And meanwhile, Fethullah's people says, well, it is too much right now because they are more calculated. They say, well, Tayyip, you went too far. They are slow. Their methodology is slowly crawling, infiltrating. In fact, the first magazine they published, Zinti, means leaking. Exactly. They infiltrate to police, to universities, to judiciary, to politics, secretly, and then boom, Trojan horses. They're virus. And here it is how he's reacting. Watch. He's. <laughs> Emekli bir vaiz. Emekli vaiz means retired preacher. He said that. Just listen one more time. Retired preacher. Now this guy will go crazy. Emekli vaiz means retired preacher. I cannot sustain. 
Uh, I cannot stay anymore. Okay. Ya, emekli vay. Ne oldu hayır? Sen var ya başka. Sen, sen çok terbiyesiz, ahlaksız, namussuz, karakterli. Hayır hayır hayır. Ben sana söylediğim o. Hayır sen öylesin sen. You are very disrespectful. You don't have any character. You are this, you are that, you are a liar. Ben söyle dedi dua et. Ben söyle dedi dua et. Tamam. Bak başka bir şey konuşmuyorum sana ben. Ama istiyorsan bunları kelimelerini bir daha açıklayacağım sana. Çok özür dilerim sevgili izleyiciler. Biliyor musun? Bak bu kelimeler bana çok önemli. Ben benim olduğum yerde Fethullah Gülen'e hakaret edilmesine... Evet, evet. In a place that I am, I'm present, I will not allow Fethullah Gülen be insulted. What do insult words? Retired preacher. And he is. He should be saying he is a retired, in fact not retired, currently he is selling religion. He is an opium seller, not opium right now. Yeah. He's a businessman. He's a great businessman. But using religion as a business. And shame for foreign policy magazine that in 2008 elected this guy as top intellectual in the world. Many universities you see professors, when they praise this guy, and they have conferences about this guy, you should say, shame on you. You are praising a naked emperor who has nothing, no intellectual uh, anywhere. Not a single intellectual. All he has done, creating this kind of people. To get power and to take over a country. Not only in Turkey and many other countries too. And, but it is right now used as a stooge in the Middle East by the United States, unfortunately. And it is not in the best interest of American people, remember? Mujahideen, supported by the United States, blowback. Remember Saddam Hussein, supported by United States, blowback. Shah, blowback. Hello. This is guy will be biggest trouble for Turkey and Middle East. And later will be used. Then expression time will come, will be discarded as a, another bad ayatullah, but created by the United States. And it's United States incorporated, not American people. American people mostly have no clue about what's going on, unfortunately. They're busy in surviving, trying to work hard, trying to get by, unfortunately. But the biggest propaganda machine in the United States is the media. There is no really... Uh, <laughs> How do you say very objective media? We don't see the other side of the coin. Mostly the main media I'm talking about. Okay. He says, I will not allow to Erdogan to be insulted. One is basically is a slave of this guy. The other is slave of Erdogan. Okay. Now. Here is the, this article. I want you to see this article. The USA appointed. I mean, just a little bit summarize. I made it too long. The USA appointed Sun Mikhalif is naked. Similarities between Fethullah Gülen, Paul, and Khomeini. And by the way, on 13th of this month, uh, American uh, Turkish people in America they will go to Pennsylvania. He's a ranch in one of the places, huge place, they got it, in fact, it's not even the address is hidden, uh, the address is hidden, it is not visible uh, who owned this and stuff, it is only for special people the United States does, and they will go protest, of course there will be mixture of people, some people, old guards, like military guys, no, they are in fact, they are the one who created this one, the military, the Turkish military was paranoid and basically they did a lot of oppression in the name of secularism. Extreme secularism created this backlash. They got more extreme and this guy basically took over, took, took advantage of this suppression of the religious uh, groups in Turkey. Um, here it is, Fethullah Gülen. Uh, he has uh, similarities between St. Paul and Khomeini. And uh, I show with evidences here. And Foreign Policy Prospect Magazine asks readers to vote for the world's top public intellectual. One man won in landslide. Islamic scholar Fethullah Gülen. He's not Islamic scholar. He's nothing to do with Islam. 
Islam is neither Sunni or Shiite and uh, please go uh, Manifesto for Islamic Reform it is at 19.org read that one Manifesto for Islamic Reform I compare the Quranic Islam with the Sunni and Shiite Islam major differences you cannot recognize if Muhammad came today Sunnis and Shiites this guy will call him heretic and blasphemous they would even want to kill him as an apostate okay here it is uh, uh, I show his letter to my father this is in Ottoman language this guy is born in 1941 he's how many years older than I'm 1957 and uh, this guy writes in Ottoman language at that time why to show off in fact 1941 those who were born in 1941 they would write in Latin alphabet that time and the alphabet had changed already in 19 uh, late 20s hmm. and then um, this is one of the way he really gained respect oh he's an old guy he's an alim and um, Sizente, this is the early magazine they published Ms. Leak, exactly what they did. And this is very interesting. Initially, when they were publishing pictures there, they would cut their hair with line. Because according to Hadith, drawing pictures is blasphemy. You end up in hell, eternal hell. And initially they would, and later without any explanation, they still say Hadith, Hadith, Hadith. Now they have pictures, videos, three-dimensional, everywhere. They give up putting lines anymore. It is exactly the hypocrisy of religious clergymen. They don't have open criticism for themselves. I expect if this guy was decent, honest, say, well, we initially we thought those hadiths are sahih, but in fact, we pick and choose. <laughs> or we reject all these hadiths. Nope. Okay, that like Zayman, Fiji cult. And he meets Pope. Pope is one of the worst guys in the world. He is the biggest deceiver. And here is a look at the picture. I compare Fethullah Gulen with these guys. How they look like. <laughs> this is Glenn Beck. He's another hypocrite. Okay, top religious actor and uh, intelligence agency basically supports him right now. The crying, sobbing, wailing, weeping, bawling, howling, yowling, and sniveling preacher. Okay, here it is. I say, yet our naked Sunni Mullah or beardless Khomeini fools the world by the help of four distinct groups. What is going on? Okay, four distinct groups. One is handlers, that is Washington, Tel Aviv, Vatican. The core cult lieutenants who enjoy the perks and power bestowed on them. And then a growing crowd of admirers who are impressed by the growing number of the crowd. Fascinating loop, a perpetual machine or self-fulfilling prophecy. Because majority of people, at one point, they start following uh, the powerful uh, minority and exactly it happened in in the past they were considered a cult and marginal they were <laughs> uh, belittled and and then after they got power and then boom they got political power and people started joining majority of people is like that and then the tailors in this case the western and eastern intellectual and academic prostitutes which i call them some are paid well by the cult and others work for WTV, Washington, Tel Aviv, and Vatican. And then great talent to sell himself. These are the four things that really makes this guy at this time powerful. But he's a powerful puppet. And then uh, I have some things here. Let's see what we have here. about his crying sessions. 
they put the <laughs> with the sun. Anyway, this is a this is okay. Let's see this one. This is another crying session. See, make this child cry next to him. Why this kid is crying? Okay. Even the kid is crying. <laughs> Remember Hitler with passion, with orange, how he manipulated people? This is exactly. Remember some uh, TV evangelist? Okay. Uh oh. What did I do? Okay, I go back. I made a mistake. I go here. Okay, I see. <clears throat> Okay, a dangerous cult leader. Oh, this is another article of mine. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, here. Fatullah Gülen, the U.S. appointed Sunni Khalif, is naked. This is the title of my. Okay, let's go here. Please uh, publish this article in your website. And uh, this one is which one? Oh. Another one. Another crime session. By the way, he didn't marry. I don't know whether there is some psychological problem caused by that. This guy is so delusional and so ignorant. In one of the articles he says, he supposedly he's doing scholarship. He says, perhaps Jesus' father, who is Jesus' father? He's trying to find a question, an answer for that question. He says, Muhammad, perhaps. Perhaps. It's, I'm not sure, but perhaps Muhammad is the father of Jesus. That guy. He's the public intellectual, praised by universities for his acting skills, Machiavellian, behind the scene, selling business, politics, and for his telling stupid stories. A lot of stories that he goes to open his school, Muhammad comes and he talks to Muhammad. Face to face, he says. It's not kind of dream or hallucination or something spiritual. Real Muhammad goes to his Turkish Olympiads. It is another way of selling to Turkish people two things. He tickles two hormones, nationalistic and religious hormones. The world doesn't have anything. He doesn't teach really Turkish. But schools, they started getting to students, give them free trip to Turkey. And then they learn, memorize few songs, few words, and they come there from around the world. They have billion, billions of dollars, I say. And they say, wow, the world is learning Turkish. No. It is all show off, packaging, to sell you this cult. And then comes imperialism. Come using Turkey as a stage for Middle East. 
there will be a war against Iran because this guy is now provoking antagonism against Shiite. This is exactly what is wanted by his masters. A compassionate peacemaker or a jingoist instigating mass murder? Gulen was a CIA agent, one of his uh, guys uh, saying. Before Fatullah, there was Khomeini. I'm giving some uh, information about Khomeini's work. Anyway, I want to stop here, but this article. And I want just to browse this article here. That's all I'm going to finish. You can stop and read if you wish. I'm not sure whether you can read from here, but the best way is going to the address that I have given you at 19.org. But the site can be banned or can be closed. But please uh, feel free to publish this article at your blogs. And any videos of him you see, please do, because some of the videos, they disappear. One of them, in fact, here you will see the link has become dead. They keep banning and people keep publishing. You can stop and read. In this one, he says Muhammad appeared in the, his dream. Not his dream, in his uh, not in his dream, but in real life as a person. I want to open up this one too. Hold on, let me go back. Muhammad, father of Jesus. Fatullah fabricates hadith. Fabricat, uh, Fatullah promotes. Fabricated hadith books full of lies and backward teaching. Here are examples. All of these supported by this guy. So called world top world intellectual. America's strange sultan. Okay, let's go back. This hadith, please uh, go all these, uh, read these hadiths. In fact, they are in manifesto for Islamic reform compared to the Quranic verses. They are the trouble 
of Muslims basically they are in backward situation all because of these religious backward religious teachings here he tells lies many like this you bir de sonra mürakebe yaptım. Sonra ya Resulallah dedim. Halimizde olacak. He's talking to Muhammed in Muhammed real life. Temessül buyurdu. Temessül buyurdu. Rüya değil. Rüya değil. It's not a dream. Buyurdular ki Türkiye'nin meselesini falanlara bıraktık biz. We left Turkish business affairs to these people, other people. Aha. Muhammed gave him basically instruction to take the Turkish affairs. Saint Paul met Jesus, you remember, in his delusional? Same guy. You see Saint Paul here. They are all over throughout history. And he believes what he's saying because I have seen this kind of delusional people. <laughs> Very fluent. Good speaker. Beytullah'ta birine namaz kıldırma düşünülünce bu cemaatten bir tanesini geçirdiler durdu orada. Ve adeta ruhaniler de gelmiş orada o cemaate iştirak ediyor. Oh, his people, his cult members went to Hajj and they, are, they see there are the souls, the spirits of prophets and all they are with them. All these lies, you remember, American evangelists tell similar lies. And there are other Turkish uh, religious charlatans like him saying, saying like Cübbeli uh, Ahmet, uh, this is uh, Çarşamba Mahmut, this Sheikh, they are all telling similar stories that Muhammad comes and goes. And also in Adi Yaman, Menzil, I know these guys too, all of them I know from the past as a family, friends, and they all tell similar lies. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, I don't want to continue further. I'm really tired and I know you are tired too. Basically, this guy is a very trouble for Turkey right now because from inside the Trojan horses, he's taken over the institutions. And um, right now, Turkish media under great censorship, central media. Um, and when I went to Turkey in this last February, 2013, uh, there was an interview with me with uh, major media, but the censorship is starting much more. Uh, that time they uh, made arrangement with me too in uh, Haber Turk, uh, Pelin Çiftçi, two programs, dates, and they were very eager to have this with me and another uh, TV station, another program. But the night before they advertised on TV, one hour later they got call and then they called me the same night. They said, unfortunately, we have to cancel. Later I learned from other, uh, uh, several other cancellation, one canceled by the university. Uh, students, they got place and the top uh, <laughs> uh, rector, they call it, and they basically banned. The great censorship in Turkey right now, this cult is incredible, very powerful, and unfortunately, they are not uh, agent of a good thing. Uh, and uh, I want you, please, challenge any scholar, so-called scholar in the United States, if they are uh, praising this guy, check their relationship. They most likely they got money. Most likely either secret, covered, they donated money for their universities, groups, institutions, or they personally get money because they are very good 